I was ready to tow some uh, stuff from the garden and from the other house and I've noticed that uh, the car is uh, leaking water underneath but I have to go to throw that stuff away so I'm going to take some water with me and we are going to park the car back in the garage to see what the hell is wrong I cannot even catch a break with this car man You, get out of here, you are fine. You, go back in the garage. Oh, check this out. Ha! It's dripping. Let's go. Apparently, after I fixed a lot of stuff, uh, starts to leak water. I found a problem. Now uh, that we know what's wrong with this freaking uh, car we have to take the radiator out of course I've took this uh, plastic uh, holder that is holding the radiator is this one you just have to take one 10 millimeter another one slide it out you have the radiator loose but we have to do more than this of course it's not that easy we have to take this one out because it's holding the climate uh, cooler or the lines we have a t25 on the oil cooler right up in there and uh, for sure we have something underneath underneath apparently we have a leak that's crazy man in the summer we are going to do something about it but we have a plastic clip in here and after that i think we can take the cooler out not really sure with this car nothing is sure yep it seems like it's coming do we have a drain of course we have a drain right up in there let's drain the water i took the water hose out the one underneath i have just one here the big one let's try to take it out hmm Come on! Holy freaking hell! It moved a little bit. Ah, freaking hell. Who? That was easy. Ow. Ah. Yeah, everything is fine. Can I get the radiator out now? Yes, I can! Almost! Apparently, I really like BMW. It's fine. Please. Holy crap, what's wrong here? 
I will break something, that's for sure. It's not going to come out. Oh man! So, what's wrong with you? How many freaking liters? How many liters do you still have in there? That's it. I'm done. And it's out. Looks okay, to be honest. I thought it's new when I uh, bought the car first time, but it's not new and uh, was leaking here between the plastic and the aluminium side anyway we have the new one in here let's uh, hope it's going to fit we have uh, okay something strange we have threads in there but no but no threads in here let's hope it's the same dimension let's hope it's kind of strange why we have threads in there okay do we have a plug in here just a second to be sure yes we have okay I'm going to compare the two ones let's hope are the same and uh, let's put everything back in reverse order and let's hope it's not going to leak and we can drive this uh, freaking car that is ruining me for now I wanted to put the radiator back and of course I've noticed something else while I'm in here Check out the belt. It's dead. Dead in the water. So, of course, we are going to replace this uh, swell. This is the one that fits the engine. 7 pk 1635 um, This is for this engine. I'm not really sure what's your option, so don't take this as a reference. Uh, search uh, belt that fits your engine. Now let's put the belt and after that the radiator. Let's see how smooth this goes. So ready, steady. And go. Go planet. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. in place that was easy peasy not at all but it's installed i've put all the um, hoses i think oh i forgot to put the temperature sensor let's plug that in okay that's installed i tighten all the screws i put everything let's pour some um, antifreeze Aha. Let's start the car to check for leaks and uh, if everything is fine, let's put everything back together. Engine is running, we have antifreeze, I think. Oh, not enough, I have to pour some, but everything seems to be dry. The new belt is installed, 
no leaks another freaking problem solved i think and i hope we have no leak whatsoever oh yeah we have oil leaks a lot of them that will be for the next job of course uh, we have a few uh, problems to fix like the abs pump which is right up in there but uh, we need to pour some antifreeze oh my god it's completely gone let's see now oh yes we have a flow um, to be honest I'm not really sure uh, how much water should I pour because I don't have the level this plastic uh, pin and um, I can see that we have a normal flow I'm going to assume that uh, till this line I hope it's not too much because I can see the orange floating thing but I don't have the line the, the small plastic tab and I cannot see but check this out completely dry under the car as well finally you crazy v8 you crazy v8 a lot of work on these cars of course no leaks no leaks except for the oil leaks okay i need to shut off the engine because i might die in here uh, smells like uh, exhaust gas like a lot i can put the fan back uh, let's hope we are not going to ruin the radiator so reverse thread easy tiger easy tiger perfect let's put the air sensor where is the plug where is the plug um, where is the plug please don't tell me that I put it somewhere but I cannot find it why why are you in there like why come on let's put it backwards okay that's done that's done fan installed radiator installed belt installed please give me a break please give me a break let's check the level no idea because I have no indicator but it's something in there that's something so that's tight good enough good and tight and with all of that being said and done we are at the end of the video we fixed the problem that was a surprise one I didn't uh, know that I had to replace the radiator that's for sure uh, we have a lot of other problems to fix on this car so uh, if you want to see more progress on this uh, car join me for the next episode if you like this episode please give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video as usual thumbs down until next time see you later